Hi, my name is John Goldsmith. I run a boutique talent agency in California that specializes in the representation of animators and children's programmers and animation studios around the world. I've been involved with and represented pretty much at this point everybody who's doing the Fox Sunday Night Vlog, so that would be Family Guy, Cleveland Show, American Dad, that whole group that came out of that. And then I'm also involved with a lot of Saturday morning stuff, shows on Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, Disney XD. I'm very proud of my clients. I'm very proud of the work they've done. I'm proud I've been a part of helping them with my skills. Watching them succeed is very rewarding. For me, Wesleyan was perfect because I really didn't know what I wanted to do. My father was in the finance business. My stepfather was a film director. So I knew I had these two conflicting things going on in my life. But who I was as a person, I didn't really have a clue. And what was spectacular about Wesleyan was it was okay to not know. I had firsthand contact with all these amazing professors. It wasn't, wasn't like I was dealing with layers of TAs and layers of administration. If I was interested in something, I'd just go and, uh, and call the professor and show up. I remember my first introduction when I was a freshman. I knew nothing about the film department. And a sophomore said, oh, you have to meet Janine Basinger. How do I meet her? And he said, just go knock on her door. And so I knocked on her door, and that's how we met. She inspired me and built this whole film center and has inspired a whole generation in California. So she is very much a seminal person who shaped my life and shaped my views. But she's not the only one here. You know, I took a biology of the environment class when I was here that had nothing to do with anything that I do now, nothing I'm particularly interested in. But some of the concepts I learned in that class still I think about today. It was an environment that was completely open, and that was perfect for somebody who didn't know what they wanted to do ultimately.